2014 has brought the promise of great change to Cuba. As President Raul Castro came to close Parliament, the applause was still ringing in his ears over the proposed thaw with Washington. The government took a moment to revel in what has been portrayed in Cuba as a victory over the imperial power to the north. The five are back, the head of the parliament told the gathered deputies, as the now infamous group of Cuban intelligence officers, known as the Cuban Five, watched on. But when Mr Castro took to the podium, he warned parliament and the millions of Cubans watching at home to keep their feet on the ground. This will be a long and difficult struggle, but we'll need international activism and for North American society to continue to call for the economic blockade to be lifted. Still, something has been irreversibly set into motion on this communist island, and Raul Castro confirmed he would attend the same regional summit as President Obama as early as next spring. This was a speech that was high on symbolism with the presence of the Cuban Five and Elian Gonzalez, but also it was defiant with Raúl Castro saying that Cuba would not be changing course in what has been one of the most historic years of the Cuban Revolution. Outside the chamber, the Cuban Five were mobbed like members of a visiting rock group. One of them said Mr. Obama had been brave in engaging with Cuba. When he took that decision, he knew he was going to uh, be fired upon by some people. But I believe he knew he had to do the right thing and he summoned up the courage to do it, and I congratulate him for that. There are high expectations for the future of US-Cuban relations as this extraordinary year draws to an end. The Cuban president entered a note of caution in his final speech. We don't expect them to change their political system, he said of Washington, but for the dialogue to succeed, we demand that they respect ours. Will Grant, BBC News, Havana.